So uh, I think power availability will be a big challenge. And then uh, connecting network and connecting all the, the equipments in the uh, back end to have uh, statistics and to have information about the, the charging will be crucial. I wouldn't say that we face, but uh, for us as a distributor, what we were looking for in a manufacturer is that it could provide like the full solution where you can connect uh, and combine PV, ESS and EVC because not many of the vendors have this solution. And then you face the problems, you know, when you offer some clients a solution and somewhat, something is not working, then everybody starts pointing out to each other. And Sangro is like the perfect partner for us because it has everything in-house. So you can have the PV system, you can have the energy storage system, and you can have the uh, electric vehicle charging. The EV charging industry in Egypt is the demand in, in the market is increasing. We have more than four or five new brands uh, only in 2025, and there are more is yet to come. That's why this business is potential business in Egypt. That's why we are going to install many charging stations and provide uh, many AC and DC chargers to our Egyptian market. Uh, I think what is ahead of us is uh, getting uh, bigger batteries, yeah, more density of power, and also getting uh, fastest charging uh, charging speeds. Also MCS for electric trucks. So yeah, I think that it's gonna it will be growing very fast uh, in the next in the next years. Um, I think that it will go more and more uh, into direction with combined. Uh, charging and uh, battery storage unit, ASS, because for future energy supply, we need to accumulate energy produced during a few hours a day to have it for the, uh, for the rest of, uh, of the day, to use it 24 hours. And I think that the battery infrastructure is a key factor for development of the charging infrastructure and also to switch completely from fossil energy to uh, renewable energy sources. I can imagine a uh, big request in terms of uh, heavy duty vehicles, electric buses. So the needs are more power, more uh, efficiency, and also uh, the, uh, up, the very high uptime. Yeah, I think the flexibility is a key uh, because the with very fast growing uh, industry, it's really important to adapt very well. So the solutions like uh, possibility to connect some power modules or to connect power poles, it's really, really important. And uh, what we saw today is uh, very promising. The solutions provider uh, should deliver the right product to the right uh, price and, uh, and time. And the service must be reliable. And this is an uh, approach which I think the Sangro can provide. For sure, uh, re uh, reliable uh, products and uh, uh, efficiency. It, uh, it's very important. I think it's a very good way, it's the correct way to transmission to green power in general. And it's a very big possibility to use the cheaper and more greener power to charge electric cars. I think uh, Sangro working in, uh, into the right direction, uh, de developing the products uh, which meet these requirements. Can support the um, spreading of uh, adoption of uh, electric vehicles uh, around the world.